Well, everyone, the Apple Watch Series 11 has officially came out. So let's go ahead and do a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this new beautiful watch. Now with the Series 11, if you haven't gone through the setup process just yet, I will have a secondary video on my second channel. If you haven't gone through the setup, you can click on the video first link down in the description, which will take you to that video. Watch that video first, then come back to this, or you can just watch this one too if you've already set it up. Now, your Apple Watch on the exterior looks just like this. So you either get a 42 or a 46 millimeter size. I have the 42 one. It's a good size, but if you want a bigger size, you can go for the 46. Now, on the left side of our watches, we don't really have anything, but we do have this speaker grill. The Series 11 now comes with a speaker grill on the left side. So now you can go play music from that side too, which is really cool, and any you know, notifications and stuff will come from those particular speakers. On the top and the bottom, you have your ways of kind of embedding your bands. And on the right side, you have two different buttons. You have a you know, digital crown, which is really cool. It's like a little crown button. And then you also have your little you know, uh, side button as well. They double as a power button as well as like a Siri button if you want to enable it. So you have those types of buttons here as well as like a little microphone. On the back side, you have this port which allows you to charge up your Apple Watch. So if you want to go through and set up a charger, all you have to do is just plug in the charger on the back side of this watch. If you have the first Apple Watch or this 11th one, they all use the exact same type of charger. So there isn't really that big of a difference if you're using one watch charger to the other. Some might be faster charging, but they still are supported on this type of watch. And then you have the bands themselves. Now, when you actually input the bands, it's a pretty easy process to you know, put them in and take them off. So if you want to go through and take your bands off, it's a pretty easy process. You have these two little buttons on the back side. All you have to do is basically click into the button itself. You can basically just click into the button itself and you can slide the bands right off. So you can do the exact same thing for the you know bottom one as well. Hold down the button and slide the band off. And then you'll basically see the watch come out in like this type of format. So now you're basically good to use this watch whichever way you want to. Now, if you want to, you can add this band back if you want to. So you can go through and basically just like, you know, slide this band back in and click it into place. So slide it in, click it into place. And then what you can do is take this band and slide it in and click it into place once again. So if you do that, you can go ahead and see that the band will now click into place as long as it's clicked in. You're basically good to go and slap it onto your wrist. Now, the cool thing about our watch, once you go and set it up, this is what the front face basically looks like. So within your watch, you'll have your home screen like this. Whenever you are out of any application, this is what your home screen looks like. Now I'll give you a quick breakdown on the layout of this watch, and then I'll show you how to customize this watch as well. To kind of turn on your watch, you can either just look at it like this. You can tap on one of these side buttons. You can also tap onto the screen. If you want to turn your screen off, you can look away from your watch, or what you can do is if it's already on, you can just kind of cover it with your palm, and it will turn the display off. And also tap on it on just like so. Now if you want, you can swipe down from the top and that'll basically go through and allow you to see all your notifications within your watch. So if you get any text or notifications or anything like that, that will basically come in from the top. So you can check those. So any you know iPhone notifications will basically show up inside of this page. If you swipe up from the bottom, this will basically show you your widgets. So you can customize these widgets to whatever you want to. So you can see all sorts of different stuff and you can zoom, kind of scroll through your you know, whole entire layout by using your digital crown here. So you can put your digital crown up or down to kind of modify it. You can also use the touch screen to go up and down. So these are just quick widgets that you can kind of go through if you wanna kind of quickly see something. You can see all that information right here. And you can also go all the way down and you'll see this edit button. If you tap on edit, you'll basically be able to edit up the screen, add in new widgets or delete it as well. You can tap on that check mark button here and it'll allow you to check mark it up and you know accept those results and you can click on the digital crown button the top button if you ever want to go back home no matter where you are if you tap onto this you know digital crown button it's basically like a home button so kind of keep that in mind now if you want to if you click onto this button the digital crown button one time when you're on your home screen it'll take you into your app library basically so these are all of the applications you currently have inside of your Apple Watch. So you can go through, you can use this and kind of just scroll through and find applications that you like. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, 
you'll also see this list view option. And you can tap on list view if you want to. And this will allow you to see all your applications you basically have inside of this list view. So that's something that you can go ahead and do as well. So you can kind of go through, see all your applications in a list type of view. And that is another thing that you can kind of go through here as well and kind of modify as well, which is another really cool thing that you have the opportunity of doing. Now, on top of that, what you can also do is you could just go through and tap onto the home button one more time, and it will take you back into your home. Now, if you click on the side button, if you hold it down one time and just hold it down, it'll basically bring you into your uh, emergency SOS mode and your you know close panel. So if you want to, if you ever want to power down your watch, you can tap onto that power button at the top. This is by holding down the bottom button, by the way, this one. If you click onto this power button or hold it down, it'll allow you to go through and power off your watch. You can slide a power off. Or if you want to, you can also tap onto the emergency SOS mode if you want to enable that. You can also click on that to enable it there as well, which is another really cool thing you have the option of doing there. Now, if you click onto this bottom button one time, it'll bring you into your quick toggles. So any quick toggles that you want to kind of, you know, quickly kind of modify, you can kind of click onto this bottom button right here, and it will bring you into this page. So here is where you can quickly kind of enable or disable some of these quick toggles. So this is something that's really cool. You can add in a widget. You can go and edit up this panel, turn on or off Wi-Fi, turn on or off your airplane mode. And that is another thing you can kind of go through there and kind of modify. So kind of look into that. I'd recommend kind of going through, kind of getting used to that as well, because that is another really cool thing that you can kind of do. So click onto there, kind of modify that, and I can kind of recommend you to do that there as well. And once again, click on this side button up here, and it'll bring you here. If you want to customize your home screen, you can always hold down on your watch app just like this, and there's going to be a little edit button. If you tap onto that edit button, it will allow you to go through and basically kind of modify this page. So you can kind of scroll through and change up your background. You can change up the color of your watch. You can change it by just using this digital crown. You can swipe around and change everything. If you're cool with this, you can also tap onto it and you can modify basically anything. So go through, kind of modify, change whatever you want to. And there's a lot of stuff you can edit up here. You can edit up your widgets. And if you want to, you can modify how your you know, watch is kind of showcased by clicking on swiping through, clicking on new. And you can add a completely different watch face here as well. So the modular one is kind of the one that I like the most. But if you like a different one, click on it, bring it in. And that's another really cool thing you can kind of do there as well. Now, another really important thing too is on your iPhone, wherever you connected your iPhone and your Apple Watch Series 11, there's also a Apple Watch application, you know, designated with it. So I would recommend going through, it looks like this. I would recommend going through, and if you really want to edit up your watch and modify it, go inside of this particular application. And I'd recommend kind of going through and just kind of getting used to it here. You know, it's very similar to the iPhone application, like the iPhone settings app. So you can kind of go through, kind of modify this particular app, whichever way you want to add new stuff in, kind of change things out. And I'd recommend kind of going through and kind of doing that here too, because that is another really important thing you can kind of do here as well. So that is basically how you go ahead and use your Apple Watch Series 11. There's a lot of really cool stuff here, a lot of really good information. I would recommend just kind of jumping in and using your watch as soon as you pick it up because this type of watch, the more you use it, the more you're going to understand it. And there's like an infinite amount of features inside of this type of watch. So I'm a very big fan of it. I would highly recommend every single person to go ahead and just kind of jump into it, you know, kind of get used to it. And I would also, if you want to probably put some sort of case or screen protector on them, you don't really need it because these things are far more durable but that might be another thing you might want to think about as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.